question 5.1. Here we want to find the impulse response of an ideal low pass filter. And this ideal low pass filter is a filter that filter out all frequencies higher than 200 Hertz. So if I want to plot that, it's something like this. Um, say this is the frequency response and this is the frequency so I, let me let me uh, yes it's frequency in radian per second okay well first of all we we want a filter to filter out all frequencies in the um, higher than 200 hertz and since it's symmetric that means we want a filter that filtered all frequencies also below minus 200 hertz so i would say the the cutoff frequency in hertz is 200 hertz and we know how to convert that to angular frequency. We just need to multiply that by two times pi. So I would say omega c, the cutoff frequency is 400 pi radian per second. And we know these two are the same. So 200 hertz is 400 times pi radian per second. And well, this ideal filter is something like this. Make it more symmetric, okay. Well, this is omega c and this is minus omega c. And here it says that the signal in the range of minus omega c to omega c or signals below 200 hertz in the positive side of this diagram should be amplified with factor one so that means this is one okay so we we have such a filter such an ideal filter and um, i can write the expression for this filter like this h of omega is is one if omega is in the range of say 400 pi, minus 400 pi to 400 pi and it is zero if omega is larger than 400 pi or it is smaller than minus 400 pi and I can write this in a better form you can write this in like in this format omega is smaller than 400 pi and also absolute omega larger than 400 pi so this is the expression for this filter that i can further simplify that or should i use a simpler expression i can say h of omega is actually a rectangular function okay that's obvious it's a rectangular function well here we have omega on top and at the denominator we have two times omega c and that's the definition of the rectangular uh, function we have the whole period here to here in the denominator so it's two times 400 pi and that's 800 pi okay so this is the expression for the ideal filter that is described in the question. But we are looking for the impulse response function. So you remember from chapter 3, that um, the impulse function and the impulse response function ht and frequency response they are actually a trans Fourier transform pair okay that is if you take the Fourier transform of ht then you will get h omega so frequency response is the Fourier transform of h of t so that means if you want ht if you want the 
impulse response, you need to take the inverse Fourier transform of frequency response. And here the frequency response is a rectangular function. Let me replace that here, omega over 800 times pi, okay? And again, as I said, from chapter three, you, you learned how you can calculate this. And let me just skip the calculations because we have done that a couple of times in the exercise set of chapter three. So I here directly write the inverse Fourier transform of this rectangular function, which is a sync function in this format, 400 times sync of 400 times t, right? So this is the impulse response function. This is ht. Okay, so the question is, a system with such an impulse response is possible to realize that? Can we realize such a system or not? Well, sync function, um, let me plot it here. Sync function is like this. Uh, Okay, and if you see that the value of ht, the value of ht for t smaller than zero is not zero. I would say this does not equal zero. And that means the system is not causal. And when the system is not causal, you cannot realize that you cannot build it, build that in real time. Okay, you cannot have a system like uh, with this property that can process the signal in real time. That's one problem. So that would, I would say, I would say, the system is non-causal. That's one property of such a system that makes it impossible to realize that in practice. And another problem is if you look at here, the sync signal goes to minus infinity from minus infinity to plus infinity. And that means the sync function is actually has uh, infinite. And that's another reason that we cannot realize this filter in practice. So I would say no, because of two reasons. One, non-causal property, and the second one is it is, sorry, infinite, okay? Infinite over time. That means you should have this, in, being infinite means that you should have all signal to find the value of the signal at time t and that's not possible okay you can't have all signal because the at time t you don't have the signal at time t plus one and that makes that makes this uh filter uh actually impossible to be realized in practice 